guys, welcome to another motor vlog for today. Um, you'll, just to start off, you'll have to excuse me. Um, I'm, I've got the same thing that everybody else seems to have at this time of the year. Got a bit of the flu and cold and all that sort of stuff. All, you know, <clears throat> grogged up and all that bad stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Also, you might be able to hear... Um, it might sound on the microphone that I'm, uh, it sort of might sound like, um, I've got an old granny squeezing my, um, cheeks together, doing one of them little cute faces like the little babies, that's because, uh, just to let you all know, and the purpose of today's video, I've got a new helmet, um, in fact I've got a few new bits of, bits of kit since I learned my last motor vlog, so, uh, I'll do a full run through um, in a minute in the video, uh, which I'll record later on at work, because um, obviously I can't really do it now. But yeah, I've got some new trousers. Uh, you, you might have been able to see them slightly, I don't know. Uh, I got myself a new helmet, HJC, 160 quid I think it was, um, 170, something like that. Uh, really nice helmet. I'd really, really recommend them. Uh, I can go through, you know, the, the not such the specs, but go through what they do and stuff in a minute. So, yeah. What else have I got? Oh, I've got a new uh, Bluetooth intercom system that uh, I was actually talking about in a couple of videos ago. I can't remember which one it was, but um, I think I asked your guys' opinions. Uh, some advice I some advice to what you guys reckon I should get and um, or what you guys have got so but yeah I've got one got it from JNS in Digbeth like I seem to do everything else with all my, my other bike stuff uh, it was quite expensive but it's really really worth it for for what they for what it does and what it's capable of doing it's really really worth it I mean it's complete like professional grade stuff um, so yeah I'm quite looking forward to doing a little run through with that some of you might find this video a little bit boring actually because there might not be so much as much riding as what some people would like but <coughs> there you go also another little thing um, Idiots. I hate drivers, especially women drivers. Anyway, sorry about that. Sorry about my language if I swore. I'm, like I said, I try not to swear in my videos. Well, it can't always be helped. <coughs> Let's do a little naughty one here. Right. Got any help? Sort of you. So, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, also, the. I'll check it actually. It should be alright. Um, the audio quality might not be as good or might actually be better, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't reviewed it back yet, obviously. But um, since I've got a new helmet, uh, my existing external microphone that I had, my USB one, the cheap one from China that I had on my other helmet, I no longer have it. Uh, right, mate. Nice bike. Right, mate. Nice bike. Uh, yeah, so I no longer have the external microphone that I had before simply because new helmet uh, I need new fittings for it and and actually it broke anyway so yeah so I'm using my um, Apple earphones into my Samsung and I'm just recording it on the voice recorder uh, so fingers crossed it'll it won't come out too bad um, hopefully it's not too loud but I can I can toy around with the volume settings and stuff when I when I edit the video anyway get out of the way of that car so yeah um, right then I'll jump to the other clip now and uh, I'll show you guys my new kit give you a little update on that sort of stuff uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it or find it useful or you know maybe take my recommendations and go and invest in something like what I've got because I would highly recommend the stuff that I've brought like highly highly recommend so yeah HJC helmet, new helmet. Don't ask me what uh, model it is. I mean, like, 
you know, HAC, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is. It doesn't say anywhere on the helmet from looking at it. Um, so just to go over what it does quickly, it's a pin lock visor, which you guys can see. It's quite stiff as well when it's not on your head. There you go. Um, inside there, it has got the anti-fog visor fitted in. Um, they sort of latch onto these pins here and there's one over the other side there. Um, and then it's like an inside layer. So basically when you breathe in and out, it, the helmet doesn't fog up, which is amazing. Um, like the other helmet I had, it's got a little clip a little adjustable clip thing there which has a sun visor which is like um clip it down and then it's a quick release with a little button which is handy um air vent at the top two different settings not that it makes much difference but there you go uh as you can see obviously that's my that's my gopro that i use to record the motor vlogs um I say it again. I've said it a thousand times. I'd highly recommend a GoPro to anybody. Um, they are expensive, but considering I use it for more than just motor vlogging, it's really amazing. Um, anyway, front air vent here. Again, you know, nothing too special. The side here. Um, this is the the Q3 Scaler Rider, the Cardo little um sort of ad adapter plate so you can fit my bluetooth intercom onto it which i'll show you in just a second but just to let you know um that's fitting on with like a little bracket with allen keys uh, i've actually that's an accident i, I uh, dropped the helmet and it pinched against the the bolt there and it sort of pierced a hole so yeah that's my fault there but what i did inside this pad in here i literally got a knife and just sliced it open so I can get the little plate behind here to attach it. it this is probably not going to work, but it's got a microphone there, that dark pad there that sticks onto the inside. The cables run from this scalar rider, and then I've got them running under this little flap here. And then, again, you won't be able to see them, or you might do if I hold it like this. Excuse the mess on my floor if you see that. No, you can't see. Well, basically, it's got two um, earphones that are mounted in there with little Velcro bits that are connected to the scalar rider. And it's a D-Link D -Link shackle thing, which I hate. I prefer the clip ones because they're a lot more convenient. But what can you do? Um, yeah. So there's the helmet. It's also British Motorcycle Sport certified. The gold sticker that you get on the back of... Um, you know expensive helmets that are made and designed to be used on track days and stuff like that so that's another bonus um i'll add individual pictures of the bits and bobs on after after the little video clips but yeah that's the helmet um again i'll put the link to all these things in the description um to the shop if i can't find the link to the actual items i'll just link you to the shop and you can go and have a look for yourself but that's the helmet so guys this is the cardo scalar rider q3 get it to focus that's what it looks like that simply on the side of the helmet here clips on like that you hold the button it beeps inside and it turns on like that. Now that's on. Uh, it's got lots of different features. You can pair them up to I think it's I think it's four or five other um, Scalar Rider Cardo little Bluetooth intercom things, whatever they're called. Uh, so you can, you can pair them up to multiple other ones. So if you're in a group ride or whatever, you can all chat and communicate, which is really really handy. Um, Chris brought this kit originally since I didn't have the money at the time. Uh, this kit cost £320, roughly, I think. Obviously, it depends where you go and get them. Um, but we brought the pair the, the pair kit for £320. That came with the two Q3 headsets. And this hard case with information, like instructions... 
more information. The box is a bit of a mess because obviously we're not using half this stuff. You've got spare like self adhesive pads that I was going to use. They're Chris's earphones. Um, what else do we have? These mics that come with it originally. Uh, they I've just tangled them together because I'm a gorm. But basically, they're designed so that they can just like Velcro inside your helmet, and they can bring them around the front. So if you've got like a touring helmet, like a, or an open face helmet, and you do a lot of touring, or if you're an instructor or whatever, you can use that and save you having to stick a little um, you know, microphone inside your helmet. Uh, it comes with little just they're just like extension like arm things spare microphones alcohol pads to clean the side of the helmet and spare pop shields pop gags whatever you want to call them another sort of adapter thing that can go on the side of the helmet so instead of like screwing that one attaching it you can stick that there obviously without the white pad on it it uh, depends but obviously the screwing one is better because it holds it comes with the allen keys and the tools comes with little cardo bags it doesn't come with a knife unfortunately that's the knife i used to um cut my padding inside my helmet so that needs to go back downstairs into the kitchen because otherwise my nan will probably be looking for that uh, another pop shield so basically it just comes with a, a range of accessories um you can buy them in different kits i think you can get q1 q3 q5 um you can get uh, like scalar rider sets where you can link it to just a pillion passenger you can do lots of other bits and bobs which i'll run through in just a second so the q3 has a, a range of features which i've just said um so let's have a quick look just to refresh myself what it can do so basically it's got um it's bluetooth connectable so you can connect uh, any bluetooth sat navs bluetooth phones bluetooth music players mp3s whatever you want to call them uh all of that good stuff buttons somehow you have to read through all these instructions but you can use these buttons to control like volume connectivity you can connect multiple bluetooth device up to it i think it's like a sat nav and a phone um you can use it uh for your phone via bluetooth for like um you know mobile you know mobile phone calls uh it's got like a, a one push hot dial mode feature on it where you can pre pre-enter a phone number on your phone or on the app or on this or whatever and you can basically hit a hit a button and it'll call that which is quite handy and save you actually using your phone and it's like a hands-free kit basically like I said before, you can pair it up to uh, a number of different Scalar Rider devices for group communication or pillion communication. Um, it's got a built-in FM player. It's got something called a VOX feature. Uh, I'll just call it Vox because it's easier to remember. Where basically, it's like you can control it via your voice. Um, and there's again, there's a, a, a hell of a lot of different settings to go through um that you can program it to do pretty much anything really so it's really really handy and it does come with an app for android or um android or apple i don't know yeah you know what i mean either for your iphone or for your android phone whatever so um you can use it to hot swap settings you can use it to play your music via mp3 or via the AUX in, which is at the back here, which I use with my iPod. Um, it's it's basically just a, a hell of a lot of different settings. Um, for the money, well, you know, the, the cost of it is very expensive. But like I said previously in when I was riding, the features it has on it is, you know, definitely profession, professional grade you know, for touring and that sort of thing. So... For the money, it's it's very, very worth what you pay, if that makes any sense. Um, I would highly, highly recommend the Scala Rider sets by Cardo. Uh, again, I'll put a link to the, link to all this, all that, blah, 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 all the good stuff in the description. So, guys, there's all the bits of kit, um, the new stuff, and sort of like a little update for you all. 
Uh, I'll probably plan to do uh, a complete update video on the bike, on my situation, um, all the bits of kit in a few weeks' time anyway. So if you guys have found this interesting, which hopefully you have, uh, informative or whatever, then, like I said, check the stuff out in the description. Um, don't be afraid to send me a message over or comment or whatever. Uh, if you've got any questions about the kit or if you want to know anything or if you, you know, anything at all, even if you just want to say hello to me, that would be cool because I'm a lonely bastard. No, I'm not really. No, I am, but yeah, anyway, I'm babbling. Right, back to the video.